to create your wallet. We're going to talk about the Dex Serum. Yes, and this is a very beginner's tutorial. Everyone who does not understand what these projects are, I hope to clarify this for you. If you have any questions, we are live streaming this. So just ask in the comments or chat, and I'll try to answer it. Before we begin, I want you to understand that the reason we are featuring Solana and why we believe, or at least I believe, uh, that it is really a strong uh, blockchain. It is indeed called uh, an Ethereum killer is really because of the fastest scalable blockchain, 50,000 transactions per second and very cheap fees. So of course in gaming, speed and low transaction fees are the most important thing. And since many Filipinos here are playing to earn, I want you to learn about Aurori. This is another great NFT game where you can play to earn and without much capital. So why don't we watch and I'll give you a, an outline for today's topic. First, for those who are familiar with uh, Binance Chains or Ethereum, you have your MetaMask wallet. Here in Solana, you can still, uh, you have to make uh, an open, uh, you have to open your, fan. there are many, uh, there's Solet, there's Solflare, but I chose Phantom Wallet because Phantom Wallet is user-friendly interface. So just, just open a Phantom Wallet and it will be good. So we'll talk about just how to open a Phantom Wallet. If you're very familiar how to open a MetaMask wallet, so you're already familiar with a seed phrase, so ganun lang siya. It's the same. May I remind everyone who's a beginner here never to take a picture of your seed phrase, never to do anything like a document online, emailing your seed phrase to yourselves. It's all going to get leaked and hacked. You will lose the funds inside your Phantom wallet, in this case, your Solana or your Solana NFTs, and that would make your heart break. So your heart will break, your wallet will break. So important to understand for beginners out there, whenever the seed phrase is given to you, make sure you get a piece of paper, write it down in two, two papers or whatever, I don't know, but physical, not online. Okay, so of course, a lot of people don't understand Solana. So we'll have just a, 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 brief, and, uh, a brief go through on what Solana is capable of. We're going to also go through the largest um, DAP uh, in, in the NFT marketplace of Solana, in my view, which is Solana Art. So Solana Art allows you to sell and buy trade NFTs. You are seeing, of course, in Ethereum, OpenSea. So Solana Art, in my view, is the DAP that is, uh, of course, Solana Art is not the only one. There is so uh, there is Soul C, but uh, I like Solana Art better. So we're going to go uh, through this very nice app. So all of the websites are called decentralized apps, uh, whether that be a decentralized exchange, a decentralized NFT marketplace, a decentralized wallet, and uh, even dashboards, games, decentralized games. So it means that it is not... Um, we're not going to go through so many j uh, jargon. Basta I'll go through the exact websites that we're going to go through. So the Serum Dex is important if you're familiar already with mga pancake swap. So we're going to talk about pancake swaps for Binance, right? So here we're going to talk about Radium and Serum Dex. Radium is um, useful for you to swap your tokens if you have to. We're going to also tell you how to stake and yield farm. Those are very important for people who have sold to increase their souls or their race whatsoever. And uh, Serum Dex, just for information, how to swap or trade those tokens, those salt tokens. And uh, just a quick preview for you to understand all the dApps happening in each blockchain, all the DeFi movement. We can go to DeFi Llama just to see uh, all the Sol dApps, all the Binance dApps, all the... Ethereum dApps, and so forth. So hopefully I can go through these. Okay, so as I said, Aurori is the most important game in my view. Of course, people would argue it's also Star Atlas. So you might have heard about Star Atlas. Yes, these are Sol games. So let's watch a two-minute preview, Aurori teaser. This was July 2021. We actually have a more updated uh, teaser now on the exact gameplay of the PvP and TV emotes. But let's watch this together. One minute. Can 
I speak to all the Aurorians, you're gonna be in an environment. You're you're gonna be like a Pokemon trainer. It is inspired, of course, by Pokemon and Pokemon NFTs. These are your laga, your pets, no? Uh, for those who are watching here in Filipino, I'll use the Tagalog version. Uh, the Taglish. It's a nice game. So you will earn our tokens. And you'll earn NFTs as well. NFTs can be sold in the Sol Lana Art. So that's where you'll sell it. Imagine uh, you will find these, these creatures. And actually, all the players will have one. Free. Amazing. That's why we're gonna go through the Aurori. You don't need a lot of capital, guys. And you can see it's so well, de well developed. This has been a project developed and backed um, by Japanese Gaming Studio. Also developed and backed by FTT, um, major exchange. Right? That's like the Binance of the Solana, FTT, and Serum. So all the major exchanges in the Solana Club. Okay, so you've seen, um, let's talk about the Aurori project. The first thing that you have to do, of course, for everyone who wants to be involved in the game, if you have been playing any game, let's say Axie or Plants vs. Undead, those are very popular in the, in the Philippines, Alien Worlds, Farmer's World, you are familiar already that you have to go to Medium, you have to go to Discord, you have to be updated on their Twitter so even for beginners, you have to, okay? Walang tanga dito, ha? Kailangan maruno, you're gonna play to earn, so you have to be aware of announcements. Auroriproject.medium.com And of course, we're gonna go through the light paper. So let's go through that. Um, umpisahan natin, okay, so here, the Aurori Project, the Medium. So some, some like in PVU, they've changed na to Substack, if you, if you recall. So nandiyan, nakasulat na yung mga announcement. To be honest, do you know that the Aurorians, if you were just part of the first 10,000 Aurorians, meaning the 10,000 users, you were able to mint your NFT avatar for just 5 sol, although re they recommend 5.1 sol. So mga August 28 yon, so Lana was trading somewhere in the $80, so that would have cost you $400. Right now, it's trading, the minimum avatar now is trading at about 22 sol or 20 sol. And sol has gone from 80 to about 140. So imagine your $400 investment in an NFT avatar for being the first 10,000 who minted their NFT avatars uh, has already profited. Magkano yun, guys? I multiply natin, 140 times 20, 28. So times 7 na your money. So um, why is it that way? Because there's so much use case for that avatar. Let's go through this. Um, I'm gonna re I'm gonna show to you since you're a beginner. Magbabasa tayo ng mga critical things for you on uh, on these things. As I said, you need your Solana wallet. Create it using Phantom. So ganito siya. Click tayo the Phantom app. Open link in new tab. So ako, if you'll notice in here, I already have my Phantom and I already have my MetaMask. So how to create your Phantom wallet? It's very simple lang naman. You add to Chrome. It's very intuitive. Phantom makes it safe and easy for you to store, send, receive, stake, swap tokens all on the Solana blockchain. So people are asking, bakit ka pa nag-create? Kasi guys, MetaMask does not have Solana. It does not support Solana. Can you imagine Coca-Cola supporting Pepsi? Hindi. Magkaaway sila eh. So hindi sila magsasupport to each other so far. Uh, although, I don't know, maybe makaka-add tayo ng mainnet the way na we're able to actually include Binance in our MetaMask. At least hindi tayo nag... Although some people, they they really uh, they really uh, downloaded pa the Binance uh, wallet, trust wallet. Pero ako, minetamask ko na lang. So mas madali, di ba? So I now have two wallets. So, meron ka rin password. If you're familiar with, um, so ganyan. So, add to Chrome, turn your browser. We're not gonna go through this, uh, how to add your wallet. Ganun, very easy lang talaga yan. But what I want you to see is that when you open your, when you open your phantom wallet, di ba may seed phrase yan, ang kagandahan dito sa Solana wallet or in, in phantom wallet, 
So malalagay mo yung Solana. You can actually add tokens kung maglalagay ka ng kung ano-ano dyan. So let's say mag-add tayo ng radium. So radium. Yun. So kikit zero pa. So I'll teach you also how to buy, how to stake. Beginner tutorial tayo today. Um, and then I'm gonna also show to you na, okay, how do I buy a Solana art? Maganda dito is, di ba, I show to you uh, the Aurori project. Nagandahan ako sa kanya. It, it is, um, I know, na nagbayad ako medyo mataas. As you'll know, medyo 140 times 20 to 8 dollars. So you might, uh, this is not an advice for you to copy me. Of course, do, do your own due diligence and risk. Pero um, nagandahan ako kasi may mga good features naman. And admin, aminado tayo na I'm late in the project. I mean, dapat early. So, I I know that the people who are early have to be rewarded. Naiintindihan ko yung, yung user base na if I'm part of the first 10,000, I could have minted it very early on. And it's a good thing, no? So, I'm happy for the ones who have Aurorians na. So, anyway, um, yun. You can notice that in your Phantom, malalagay mo lahat ng collectibles mo. So, let's say you're playing Star Atlas game. Meron ka sigurong NFT collectibles doon. In this case, I'm playing the Solana Aurori. Hindi pa nagsistart, guys. So, but we are gonna read it. Uh, we will play it. That's my goal. So, yun. And then, of course, other people, they just buy and sell Solana art. I'm gonna show to you as well. What if I don't need to play? Can I just buy and sell? Yes, you may. And you can also not play. You can also not do anything like that. You can just take. So tuturo natin yung mga yon, how to earn money via Solana. Okay, so na-open yun na, di ba, yung wallet nyo. That would be the most important thing. The next thing that you have to do is you fund it. So usually, how do you buy Solana? Meron ka ng wallet, wala ka naman pera. Pupunta ka sa, ako, I'm still using Binance. So here in Binance, you can... You can just buy your crypto um, through many peer-to-peer -peer exchanges, uh, peer-to-peer merchants. So here, buy crypto for the beginners out there. Click P2P trading. Tapos, we're in the Philippines, di ba? So pesos. So kunwari may Union Bank. Okay, click mo lang to. Buy USDT, 50.8. Tapos susulat mo amount, 10,000, 40,000. Once you have the USDT, papasok ka sa wallet. Okay, so may overview ka. It's very simple how to buy Solana. So pupunta ka sa fiat or sa funding. So example, punta tayo sa fiat. I'm not gonna show to you how to buy Solana kasi may Solana na ako. Pero like, search coin, okay, Solana, SOL. You can just click trade. Okay, very easy yan. So kunwari may USDT ka na or may BUSD ka na, click that, Sol USDT. Tapos yun, you just buy oh, $137 for one Solana. And then, you withdraw it. Ano yung address? You go to your phantom wallet yet again. Solana, you click this. You have to receive your Solana. So, receive. This one, you copy. Withdraw. Pasok dyan. The fees are very minimal. 0.1 sol. So, it's less than 10 centavos per, per, ano, per transaction. Gas fees are very cheap. Okay, so tapos na yan. Na-fund mo na yung Solana mo with a centralized exchange. Ano na yung next na gagawin natin? Okay, so sa aurori.io, uh, click natin to. You will then be able to, to connect it into the app.aurori.io. So pupunta ka sa app. Actually, here, nakikita nyo ba? So may Aurorian Builder yan. Imement mo yung sarili mong JPEG or an avatar. So example, select a background. Okay, so let's say lagoon. Uh, select a skin, zombie. Uh, select an eye, let's say green eyes. Select mouth, patawanin natin. Uh, Nag-green, nag uh, ewan ko. Uh, barely angry. Select clothing, bigyan mo ng shoulder straps. Uh, select hair, shave. Uh, select a hat, moogle. Ang weird ng chinus ko. Bite bit hat. Hindi naman. Luffy hat. Ewan ko. Invento lang guys. Hindi mga importante. Aurori marketplace. Uh, flower necklace. Okay. Weird ang ating zombie. Aurorian builder. Now, if I could have been one of the first 10,000, I could have minted this for just 5 sol. 
ganun lang. Tapos, I would have had the avatar. They'll say na, yeah, 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 you have that, blah, blah, blah. Okay? Either way, uh, tapos na yung game na yun. So, it's it's part of the community. It's like their NFT drops. Let's now go through the um, Aurori light paper. Why am I bullish Aurori? Why do I want to play this game? Um, one important thing for all beginners out there is to understand the role of gaming in the blockchain space. So Aurori is a blockchain-based game in the NFT ecosystem on Solana. So you will earn tokens, Sol or Auri or uh, NFTs. So syempre mas maganda to earn NFTs, diretso. So let's read this, the foreword. After a long and cold crypto winter, the blockchain industry is back and stronger than ever. Bitcoin has become a major discussion topic in financial centers with both DeFi and non-fungible tokens. So one major roadblock for crypto is the issue of mass adoption. Uh, mass adoption would add immense value for those decentralized ecosystems. Right now, Business Insider said crypto users have only passed 100 million. We believe that with 5 billion internet users worldwide, the road to 1 billion crypto users is through gaming. Because right now, the 100 million crypto players have only savings, trading, or money transfer. They are not using their crypto for games. They're not using their crypto to store art. They're not using crypto to, to stake. So we're, we're being taught. I'm trying to teach, even as a beginner, please don't uh, criticize kung ano ah, kung maraming mali dito. But I'm learning and I want you to learn. Okay, so right now, of course, Axie Infinity pioneered the next evolution of games. Maraming Filipinos na kumita dyan, defining the play-to-earn model, resulting in a market cap of approximately $4 billion. Now, this is the pathway we see much greater adoption of cryptocurrency. So video games have become the largest entertainment medium in the world, and this got further accelerated by COVID lockdowns. By end of 2021, Newzoo forecasted 2.7 billion players, with the number increasing to 3 billion. Right now, in-game transactions are based on free-to-play, representing $159 billion in 2020 alone. So non-fungible tokens, for those who aren't aware, are simply digital in-game assets that offer you unique ownership. They could be anything, a video file, a digital artwork, a piece of music. The key difference is that the, the current ownership and the entire sales history can be verified. So I can own it, I can sell it. If you buy it, it's, it's, it's obviously in the blockchain na nag-uusap na, oh, na-sell ko na yung NFT ko to you, and la la la. So my track, my, ano, my ledger, no? my public. So sa Solana, yes. Is it like BTC, Ethereum, Binance, my scan, Explorer? Yes, there is. So the recent NFT craze finds part of the origin in the generation that grew up collecting Pokemon, the trading card game. So as in all video games, because in the crypto world, we like to do collectibles, blockchain, crypto kitties, crypto punks, people artworks, selling for millions of dollars, the NFTs um, have become a dominant segment, NFT and gaming. NFTs are giving a positive impact because um, for the players, the ownership that they acquire will enable them to also safely trade their assets. So let's say you own, a, let's say you own they call this an NFT. So their Pokemon animal is called an NFT. Um, you can safely trade those assets if you want in the marketplace. So the marketplace, I think, that you can sell it is in the Serum Dex. Or hindi ko pa sure kung sa mga Solana Art, baka possible din yan. So, so, right now kasi yung Aurori may Solana Art na collection. So baka doon ilalagay din nila and mabibenta mo yon once you acquire and want to sell your Pokemon or aka your NFT. Okay, so um, Axie Infinity attracted jobless people into the game. Most recently, August 2021, the space exploded yet again with OpenSea with over... Um, actually, hindi lang 75 million. Uh, I think it was $3 billion of uh, value transactions for OpenSea. So Ethereum naman, na art. That's the, oh, yeah, that's the art place for the selling of the NFTs. So the future of video games is important. The evolution of the video games has been increasingly innovative. From a humble beginning of buying cartridges at GameStop, if you still remember that, the industry evolved into a free-to-play business model such as Fortnite and Warzone, where players are gaining access for free to the game, but you have to later buy in-game items. 
Today, we're witnessing the next evolution to incentivize gaming models that are proving to be successful. Blockchain-based NFTs are the future of gaming, and we intend to be a part of this evolution. People are starting to realize the monetary value of their time, and this trend gives players the opportunity to monetize their playtime with inevitable will inevitably replace traditional gaming models. Game becomes work because you are earning money. To build something that lasts, teams have to be focused on what's coming next. The world is rapidly entering a digitalization era. Improvements are occurring at lightning speed. With 4 billion people having internet access worldwide, people are spending more time searching the internet for lucrative opportunities to make a living online. Your parents perhaps aren't even appreciating Ethereum yet, and yet Ethereum is now getting disrupted with Solana. Ganon kabilis ang crypto. Okay, so um, I'm not saying that Ethereum is really getting killed, but you can see na even those weaknesses of Ethereum are being addressed and fought by other disruptors. So our vision is to help create the engaging virtual economies that make these opportunities possible. Our Rory, our vision, we aim to achieve this vision to be the to set the standard for play-to-earn games, creating innovative, attractive gameplay, but cultivating a virtual in-game economy. Specifically, we want to focus on four pillars: a warm education and fully functional platform, attracting, converting a large number of users, specifically newcomers, to Aurori the Solana ecosystem, and generally the cryptocurrency space. So if you'll notice, if this is all jargon for you, don't worry because Aurora is a gateway drug for you to understand crypto and NFTs in general. They're not asking people sophisticated. They're telling beginners, kaya mo to. We are going to make it. Actually, that is a term for, NF uh, for, for the crypto community, W-A-G-M-I. We are all going to make it. We all going to make it. Especially if you're very new. Utilize the player community to foster growth of the brand and subsequent games by co-creating game features and developments alongside the community via the DAO Rory. So magkakaroon pa ng growth yung brand ng Aurori and more games. So maraming in development. We are going to create a challenging and rewarding platform for regular crypto users via a play-to-earn mechanic to ensure longevity of the game. Ito yung mga gusto ng Filipinos. How do I earn from this game? Create a stimulating platform for DeFi enthusiasts. For those who love staking, yield farming, and other protocols, they also have a way. So after mo mag-earn ng Solana, you can also yield farm it. By creating an easy-to-use platform, for crypto beginners, we intend to engage, educate newcomers, original, playful, rewarding ways, knowledge on basics of cryptocurrency, example, how to create a wallet. Obviously, if I'm going to play Aurori, nag-open ako ng phantom wallet. Performing transactions, how to stake, how to farm, allows us to gain and retain a pleasant first experience, encouraging continued use of a system. So marami actually na natuto sila na Ethereum because they had to open the Ronin wallet. They uh, access muna, di ba? And now may bridge na. So wala nang gas fees for them to convert all the AXS tokens if they want to convert it or their Ethereum. So may mga ganun ng bridge. So nag improve yung system. Aurori intends to foster and grow the community through a regular stream of game-related content, development updates, promotions, and special events. This is very important for beginners. You have to go through their Discord. So pupunta tayo sa Aurori Discord. Aurori Project. So welcome. So you will have your face, uh, your um, avatar if you wish or whatever. So may kita mo, may mga... Gamers, 48,000 members, certified Aurorians, 1984. So, to check certification support. So, yon, I'll check how to certify. I guess you have to show your NFT, blah, blah, blah. So, yon, um, announcements, official tweets. So, ganyan, if you are engaging in the play to earn movement, make sure that you sign up and join their Discord group for all the updates. NFTs and humans, a powerful coexistence. Ito si NFT. 
The universe of Aurori is populated with creatures called Nefties. Supposedly, mahahanap mo siya in an adventure mode. Hindi mo siya kailangang bayaran. Nefties populate a world called Antique, which is filled with relics, forgotten artifacts waiting to be discovered. If you love the alien worlds, yung para na treasure hunting ka, or yung engine na naglo-lost relics, nagtre-treasure hunting ka, they're doing that too. Nefties, however, are incomplete and only show themselves to those humans who they find worthy of validating their existence. In return for this companionship, they offer humans their incredible powers. So I guess, if you want to own a NFT, may konti kang task gagawin inside the world of antique para magpakita yung pet mo sa'yo na hindi mo babayaran. During the sleep, NFTs are vulner vulnerable and they prefer to stay securely inside their human's wallet. So siguro gusto nila yung NFT mo, ilagay mo sa phantom wallet mo para hindi siya manakaw. They're always on the lookout, however, for strong and worthy humans and they're also on a constant quest to better themselves through combats and duels with other trainers. Therefore, there are two modes, player versus environment, player versus player. We will, of course, start with the player versus environment mode. All beginners will roam the game world, discovering the new nefties using their wallets to catch them like Pokemon. Acquire the best team train them, adapt to any situation, and form new strategies on your way to becoming the next undefeated legend. Actually, pinakita na nila yung progress on the PvE and PvP in their YouTube channel. So, papakita na rin natin yan later sa inyo. Actually, nasa Twitter din nila yon. Every species of Nefty has their own strength and abilities, giving them multiple strategic roles in combat. From brute force to team support, defense, sabotage, and manipulation, it's all up to you, the trainer, to find the best nefties with the strongest synergy to build a dream team ready to follow you to the ends of the world all while defeating other trainers. Are you up to the challenge? If the game sounds a little bit like the PVU tower defense game dahil may PVP game ang PVU, maraming similarities ako napapansin nga. So one game, two experiences. You can be a single player mode, player versus environment. This is story driven. You learn about the workings of crypto, the blockchain, guided by a story rich single player adventure full of mystery, memorable characters, and intriguing locations to explore. This mode gives you the opportunity to acquire your very first NFT and guardian for free. This is what I'm saying. Makuha mo yung pet without paying. While immersing yourself within the world of antique. It will also give you the valuable experience and confidence that will ultimately form a gateway to the competitive player versus player mode. So yung esports, ito na yung mahirap. A competitive battleground, player versus player for the most hardcore. So usually... May casual mode, may hardcore mode. Ganon din naman sa Plants vs. Undead, di ba? If you'll notice, may Farm 3.0 and ngayon nilalabas na nila sa factory chain yung bagong game nila which is gonna be player versus player mode. Lalaban ka na using your mobile phone para walang latency. You can just download it in the Apple iOS app or the Android and you can start playing player versus player. If you listen to the interview of Ama, um, for those who are playing Plants vs. Undead or are interested, the PvP uh, is uh, player versus player. You have your NFT plants. Pero yung NFT plants na yon, pinaghirapan mo yon, or through the 100 saplings equals 1 seed conversion sa farm or binayaran mo yon sa marketplace. Gagamitin mo yon sa PvP mo, di ba? And then the PV, the plants would have usage modes. So, in a way, di ba, maram, may, may similarity. <clears throat> okay, so ito yung esports style na, no? parang battle royale na to. Okay, so let's just understand. The PvE world, however, is always open. The Aurori team will continue to release new episode adventures, new locations, new guardians, nefties to discover, new characters, and new quests. Be sure to come back often. So feeling ko dito, guys, pag may nahanap kang nefty, kailangan mo siya i-train like Pokemon, uh, so aalaga mo siya, siguro if you feed mo siya, kasi alaga mo siya talaga. So you will form a bond 
to your virtual pet. In this case, your virtual nephew. So may Tamagotchi Pokemon style din talaga. Embark on quests, interact with the colorful non uh, NP, um, NPCs in a crypto-based world, 3D maps. Okay, changing uh, here naman sa combat mode. After forming your dream team, you will compete with other powerful trainers. So ikaw na si Ashley, nandun ka na sa stadium, lumalaban ka na for a friendly duel, rank tournaments, which will happen on a monthly basis, recurring basis daw yan. Um, monthly, I, I don't know if weekly or monthly, but parang may nabasa kong ganun. Other very special modes that we have yet to unveil with our community. Combat starts as soon as the matchmaking is completed so that your tier will fight with the other tiers that are in your level. Uh, battles feature a draft system allowing you to predict your opponent's strategy and react accordingly. Finding the right counters, changing the order of your NFTs in your team to surprise your opponents will make all the difference between victory and defeat. The battle system, a learning experience. In the game, so for those playing Axie, siguro, you kind of have that feeling na kopya-kopyahan. Your team consists of three nefties that will compete against... So kung may Axies, ito may nefties. Your team consists of three nefties that will compete against your opponent's team in a turn-based, tactical, role-playing game-style battle. Victory goes to the first player to successfully eliminate all nefties in the opposing team. Each NFT has their own set of special abilities to utilize with every action taken. Advanced versions of these gradually unlock, introducing new devastating effects and strategic options to the battlefield. Determine the best strategy, use clever chain reactions to outmaneuver your opponent. There is also an advanced metagame. Inspired by other successful games such as League of Legends, Advanced Wars, Pokemon, Magic the Gathering, and Dofus, Aurori is aiming to offer deep and rewarding gameplay with huge strategic freedom, allowing players to tackle combat in various ways. Nagsistream ako. Mamaya na. A wide choice of nefties. Ito siya. So as you can see, yung mga Pokemons mo or your Axis term is gonna be these nefties. Iba-iba siya. They have base stats, boosted stats, spells, variants, strategic positioning on the playground, dozens of different types, unique and memorable design inspired by the crypto universe. The PvP tournament championship is going to be requiring you to stake Aurori tokens. So here, when the game is live, you will have Aurori tokens. So those who are familiar with games, di ba, meron kayong Plants vs. Undead token. Here in Aurori game, you have Aurori token, which you can buy in the Solana Dex. Sa serum natin bibilhin yun, or sa radium. Yun yung parang pancake swap equivalent kung gumagamit na kayo ng pancake swap to convert your Binance to PVU and vice versa. So, give players a chance to maximize their rewards. Monthly tournaments to reward the top players. It will be tiered based on skill level. If you'll notice itong mga avatar na to, yung iba may mga pictures, yan kasi came from the Aurorian. It just shows to you that if you were part of the 10,000 early users of uh, Auroria, or Aurori, yung badge mo or yung profile tells you na I'm generation 1. Imagine mo if you were part of the generation first 10,000 players of Axie. Parang they want to give those people who were early, kaya sobrang mura. Halos binigyan talaga nila ng libreng pera yung first 10,000. Nagmint lang sila ng sol. Kung gusto nila ibenta, they can. But I think majority kept it. Monthly, uh, based on skill level and games played, special elite arenas will challenge veteran, veteran players with even greater rewards. Spectators will also have the opportunity to earn rewards. Okay. The Aurori Championship Tour. So ito na yung parang fumo Fortnite na. Um, any defeated nefties, however, will be disappearing and gone forever. So ito, kawawa na yung mga namatay na nefty. So syempre, malakas na nefty yung ilalaban mo. Pag natalo ka, masakit din. The annual Aurori will offer opportunities to win rare items, significant cash prizes, imprint your own design on future nefties. Pero sobrang laki rin talaga ng reward. If you've heard about people earning millions of dollars in Dota, I don't know if that's gonna happen kasi may inspiration daw sila sa League of Legends. So kung may ganong klaseng leveling na $100,000 yung cash prize, for other people, okay na sa kanila to risk the defeated nefty to lose just in case. This means the top level players will continually nourish the ecosystem 
via strategic experimentation in the battle. So maraming opportunities, fair opportunities for up-and-coming players. A golden ticket is required to enter the Aurora Championship Tour, which is earned by either number one, very victorious ka in ongoing tournaments. So di ba may monthly tournament, kailangan nananalo ka. You have to also be lucky. Lucky few PVE players can also be rewarded a ticket. But I think, syempre, if you are part of the tournament, mahina yung NFT mo, hindi ka rin lucky few kasi mamamatay ka lang din sa battle. Now, if you wish to do so, you can also sell your golden ticket to another lucky trainer. So pwede rin, ibenta mo na lang yung ticket mo kung hindi ka naman pang battleground. Now, this is fun. It's free to play and it's play to earn. You will now be able to enjoy PVE and PVP up to the tournament without spending anything. The single player campaign provides you everything to get you up in the running in the game for free. Walang paywall, walang unpleasant surprise. The end goal is to compete in the PvP environment. So, the download mo lang yung game sa Aurora app, and then you just play and then find your Nefty. Okay, so ganito. Let's see. The solo game, PvE mode, will incentivize players with NFTs of the creatures they just defeated. Siyempre, um, kapag may namamatay ng mga NFTs, napupunta sa winner yung NFT. Kaya nga, Pokemon got to catch them all. So parehas sa Pokemon. And by winning Ori tokens once the game chapters are completed. To encourage players to try out multiplayer modes, my weekly monthly leaderboards rewarding the best performing player in terms of both playtime and skill. Players are also encouraged to spend Ori tokens on the marketplace for better items and nefties and then stimulating the in-game economy. So if you're wondering, aangat po ba ang Auri tokens? Siguro naman, kasi kung kailangan mo siya for the marketplace, kakailanganin mo siya for your nefty. Papakainin mo siguro yung nefty, maglalaban kayo, itretrain mo yung nefty, siguro may training tools. Marketplace, this is where you buy your tools, weapons, etc. Every item must be obtained, uh, you acquire, can be sold on the marketplace to obtain Auri tokens. You can trade your nefties, equipment, consumables, battlefields, and more. Advanced sorting tools and analytics will be available to help you make the wisest sale and purchase. A percentage of marketplace fees from both the marketplace and our online store will be used to maintain the Aurora ecosystem paid via reward staking, welcoming new players, offering rewards for PVP. For PVP. Okay, land na naman. Land ownership. Eventually, players will be able to acquire a piece of land in the game world. Lands can be used for respawning, teleporting, allowing you to cover great distances within a short amount of time. Additionally, owning land unlocks the ability to generate dungeons for you and the other players to explore. Dungeons will appear on the world map and are generated randomly every week. Every plot of land will have its own rarity and custom traits that determines the type of rewards it will contain as well as the odds of a dungeon appearing. These lands will classify into common, advanced, rare, and legendary. Other players can gain access to your dungeon by paying a small fee with a percentage of that fee going to the landowner. So may commission si landowner. This is really familiar for the Alien Worlds players. So Solana and Serum for Aurori. So Serum is the DEX. Right now, Solana is the best performing blockchains on the market and ideal for gaming because it's, hand, it's capable of handling 50,000 TPS. Transaction per second, extremely low transaction fees. You'll notice it's 0. 0.00001 per transaction. So kahit na maggawa ka pa ng 50,000 transactions, it is not important. These technological achievements make Solana the best candidate for gaining mass adoption, translating to a smooth end-user experience for crypto users and investors. Furthermore, Solana's widely used Rust programming language is similar to C++, meaning Aurora will appeal to millions more developers rather than the other project which is based on Ethereum. So, kasi Ethereum, they had to learn Solidity. Ito, kapag marunong ka na ng C++, According to Solana, marunong ka na rin ng Rust programming language. We will use a Solana programming library token called Ori. So si Ori based siya sa Solana. So yan yung, di ba, ito yung Binance, ito yung BSC tokens, di ba? So ganun lang. If familiar ka sa Binance, halos pare-parehas lang, kopya-kopyahan. 
which will be the core of Aurori's in-game economy. This is available to trade on the Serum Dex. So pwede mo siyang bilhin sa Serum Dex and traditional centralized exchanges. Um, so mabibili mo sa FTT, ibig sabihin, kasi si, bakit FTT? Kasi ang Solana, ang major backer is FTT. So mauunahan niya ng FTT bago kay Binance. The release format and future plans are currently being developed. Or tokenomics. Okay, so this is still a draft. So may solo ka, you just play, you learn, you will earn NFTs, some Aurori starting pack. So the users can do a staking of those Auris if they want to. Tapos pwede rin nila ibenta sa NFT marketplace. Kikita ng 5% marketplace fee for every sale dun sa NFT marketplace. Papasok yun sa Aurori Treasury, which is the DAO. This is a decentralized, so para siyang banko, yung treasury na to, decentralized to. Walang, um, so when you say decentralized, it means that it's all done with code. May mga tao, pero may smart contracts, lahat gumagalaw dyan. Puro mga code, puro math yan, puro numbers and ones. So lahat yan natratrack. So walang dayaan. Tapos taking pool. Then the users, yan. So 50% of income daw ng Aurori Treasury, gagamitin nila for development para mag-improve yung game. For multiplayer games na magiging subsequent developments in the next coming months. Tapos, of course, the multiplayer games would allow users to get rewards for more NFTs. Kaya meron kang economy. Diba? So NFT, papupunta sa treasury, develop games, more games, pasok ulit sa user kasi magkakaroon ng rewards. Okay, tapos sa staking pool, if you'll notice, if you stake or lock your Ori, you can also earn, this is important, if you stake your Aurori tokens, meaning bumili ka, let's say, ng $10,000 worth of Auri, i-stake mo yon. You will earn hourly, so may katumbas na APR, annual percentage rate. It could be 100% APR, it could be 50%. So parang pinamimigay ka talaga ng pera. Now, ano yung risk? Ito yung tinatawag na impermanent loss. Maaring yung 1,000 tokens mo ng hourly naging 2,000 tokens, pero if the hourly price fell 50% down within a year, syempre, make even ka lang. But if you are bullish in the game, which I am, I think staking will also give rewards for the people. Kasi I see the potential of the game. This drop is also important. Meron daw makakachamba na nag-stake ka lang, mabibigyan ka ng NFT drops. So yung NFTs, baka NFTs yon. If you'll notice, napaka-creative nila, di ba? Kasi yung pangalan ng Pokemons mo or your Axis is NFTs. So parang NFT, kasi nifty or NFTs. NFTs, it's a nifty NFT. Oh, I felt na parang ah, cool, matalino sila. This really a very good team. Veterans tong mga behind this. The Auri token will allow you to enjoy a better player experience. Auri can be used to customize your character, to buy and sell NFT creatures, items, cosmetics, and cards. Reward players for advancing in the solo PvE mode. Reward players for winning battles. You pay out staking rewards from the treasury for players to earn passive returns. So ito yung mga taong gusto nga, passive lang, stake-stake sila. Enter the battle arena via staking protocols. Diba sabi nila, kailangan mo mag-stake a certain amount para maka-enter ka ng battle arena. And then you integrate the virtual economy with real-world economies via a centralized exchange. So, ibig sabihin, lahat ng kinita mong Auri, lahat ng kinita mong NFTs, always may marketplace na ibebenta mo. Either sa Serum Dex, either sa mga centralized exchanges like FTT or a Binance. Those are all centralized exchanges. A percentage, of course, of a marketplace fee is funding the Aurori Treasury, diba? so continued game development. Deflationary measures for removing Aurori are still being developed. So they're still thinking, ano ba yung pang-burn nila ng Aurori tokens? What will you earn when you're staking? Should you stake in the Aurori pool? Okay, the APR could be 250%. So ibig sabihin, you can do an auto-stake so mga taong nagkikake swap na, nagpa-pancake swap, di ba may pancake na APR and APY. Isa lang naman ibig sabihin nun, di ba? Pag compounding, APY. Kapag hindi nagko-compound, APR. So pwede mo every time may hinaharvest ka, kunwari, harvest natin, bang, 129. Pag hinarvest ko yun, papasok yan. So ako yung nag-choose kung kailan ko yung harvest. Or pag compound, every time may na-earn na one, o oh, boom. Uh, every time, our, lahat ng ARI tokens na na-earn, na, na 
kino-compound niya lagi. So syempre, mas magaling compound kung talagang passive ka. Eligible also for NFT drops, usable for the game, access to multiplayer amounts, uh, modes after you stake a minimum account. How do you obtain NFTs? Kasi nga, libre. You can play the solo game, defeat creatures, makaka-obtain ka ng NFT. You can purchase them from the marketplace. Ito yung shortcut way. Bibilin mo na lang sa marketplace or from other players. You can buy card boosters with Auri. You can stake Auri tokens to be eligible for random NFT drops. Ako, minsan, sa mga random NFT drops, trinatry ko rin yon. I know na it's like a lottery, na 10% lang naman talaga yung nananalo ng NFT drops from staking. But to me kasi, when I stake my token, kung konti pa lang kasi yung users, possible naman talaga manalo ka sa mga random NFT drops. So, maganda pa rin yun. How are players and NFT holders rewarded? Holding more NFTs enables more potential to develop effective strategies in PvP. Performing well in PvP makes you eligible for rewards from the treasury. So this is the gen degenerate pool stake. So may mga NFT drops. Just a test concept. All the Aurorians. We are launching the, generate, the, the NFT avatars. Actually, ito yung nangyari a month ago. Ito yung sinasabi ko na 5 sol lang. Naglabas sila ng 10,000 minted NFT avatars on the Solana blockchain. Those are called the Aurorians. Yun yung nakikita mo ngayon sa aking wallet. At nabebenta na ngayon sa Solana Art Marketplace. Ito yun. Yan yung mga yun. May 10,000 na ganyan. Of course, may common, may rare, may kung ano-ano. These avatars are planned to have several functions. Ito yung maganda dyan. If you own an avatar... It will act as your visual identity. It will also uh, a gateway for you for future multiplayer game modes. It will verify that you have a badge of authenticity in all leaderboards because you're an early supporter. It also gives you access to future games which are not yet public. So lahat ng beta, open beta, which we want to release in November. Uh, not yet for the release in November, but additional modes after November 2021. So additional modes will be added. Improve the game experience, allowing access to special modes, boost rewards, balance and fairness will be prioritized at all times so as not to overly advantage the holders. So sinasabi rin naman nila, although may mga rewards, hindi naman din to the point na paano naman yung hindi 10,000 award na may Aurorian, okay pa rin daw. So they're trying to be balanced and fair for those people rin. Nonetheless, they want to grant all the owners for free NFT airdrops. So parang pag meron ka niyan, posible inside the game, baka bigyan ka ng NFT na naman. Malay mo. So reward your owners based on the total volume of Aurori's in-game marketplace. So ang hope ko is magbigay sila ng NFT. Kasi trainer ka nga, wala ka namang alaga, kawawa ka naman. Well, hahanapin mo na lang yung kaalagaan mo. Yun. So yan yun. So ito yung mga ito yung game. So match in progress. We can watch may 1 minute preview na sila niyan. This is the prototype card design. So kunwari yung Pikachu mo is itong cat na to. And then character concept art. So nagaalaga ka talaga virtual pet mo. This is the first free animated byte bit NFT which were which was airdrop to all the Aurorian NFT holders. Since I was not the first 10,000 so yun nga, nagbigay na siya ng NFT drop sa mga first na yun. So ito yung nakuha nung mga yun. Yun, the, ito yung Dorori. So ma, ma, malapit na tayo matapos guys. Don't worry kung nab naboboring kayo. <laughs> kung nabobore kayo. Pero um, ganyan yung game. Tapos ito, pangalan ng team. Yan, the co-founder, creative art director. Uh, Stefan, the game design creative director, Sasha Persat, lead programmer. So nakikita niyo lahat. The team experience boosts a large range of experience because we have worked with Warner Brothers, Ubisoft, Electronic Arts, IDOS, BioWare, Rovio, Eco Software, F4 Studio, and more. Aurori Project is a triple A game. This is not an indie game. Wala kayong sasabihin, maragpul tayo dyan. Hindi po. Proudly backed by Alameda Research, which is yun nga, FTP yung may-ari, GenBlock Capital, Ascensive Assets, Animoca Brands, Solana. Yan. So, 
etong Animo ka brands, ito rin yung gumawa ng sandbox which is very powerful then na metaverse now. So, in terms of bibilhin natin si Aurori, I think it's a yes. So, ngayon, uh, <clears throat> now that I talked about Aurori, Solana Art, puntahan natin. What if I also want to buy the Solana uh, Aurorians? Punta tayo sa Solana Art. This is how you go. Um, okay, so simple lang. Solanaart.io. Solanaart.io. When you go to the Solana Art, papakonect ka niya sa wallet. So, welcome. Solana is in beta. Let's go. Um, here, I nakakonect na yung wallet ko. So, okay na yan. So, here, if you wonder, uy, paano nila, Nikki, na 10 x yung pera nila? So, ito yung OpenSea version. You can discover, collect, and trade NFTs you explore. It is the first fully-fledged NFT on Solana. You can get easy access to digital collectibles and explore. Ano yung trending today? Ano trending this week? So, ito yung mga hot collections. Infinity Labs, Eternal Beings, Lunaria. So, puntahan natin si Aurori. Nakasulat floor price, 23.4. Yun yung pinaka-minimum price on the market. And merong 1,454 out of the 10,000 minted items that are being sold right now. So, naka-recently listed yan. Tingnan natin yung highest price. Tingnan natin yung pinakamahal na Aurorian. Well, sa totoo lang, kapag wala namang bumili nito, it means lang na pin pin pinostehan ng mga Aurorian yung ginawa nila, pero it doesn't mean na may bumili, di ba? So nakasulat lang, o oh, siya, gumawa siya. Yung 5 sol niya, nakamint siya niyan, o oh, ito, 28,000 sol niya binibenta. So for me, o oh, 10,000 sol, wala pa yan. Kasi ibig sabihin lang, hindi nila binibenta. Uh, parang hindi nila pakakawalan yung sol, di ba? So yan yun. Parang nakikita mo na yan yung avatar na na-create nila during that time. Now, um, dito naman, so yan, di ba? Collections yan. Maraming collection. One of the most um, sikat na collections is the Degen Ape Academy, the Generate Ape Academy because it is like um, the Board Apes Yacht Club equivalent if you are familiar with the Board Apes ng Ethereum sa OpenSea. So this actually got started with a minting price of, I'm not sure kung 5 sol, but you can see right now, 68 sol or 14x ng floor price. So actually, kung dollar terms yan, nasa 28x your money yan. Kasi times 2 na yung, I mean, sol went from 70 to 200 dollars in a span of a month. Pero yung 70 na yun was like 20 dollars lang three months ago. And if you were buying sol, let's say, a year ago, it would have been a dollar. So yon. But I believe kasi na Solana is a very powerful blockchain. That's why if you're asking me, mabibili ko ba Solana art ng below 100? Yes, it's possible. There could be crypto winter. But the beginner tutorial today tells you ano yung fundamentals ng binibili ko para pag bumagsak yan next time ng 40% down or $100 below, at least alam mo yung binibili mo. In order to buy these NFTs, naka-sol yung token. So, pwedeng, pwedeng yung sol maging $25, pwedeng maging $100, pwedeng maging $200. People could sell the sol at pwedeng binili mo 20 sol ngayon, ibenta mo ng 30 sol next time or 40 sol. Pero hindi ko alam yung dollar equivalent nun kasi nag, nagbabago-bago nga yung sol price. ba? So, yun. You can see yan yung mga degenerate apes. So yan, yun lang. Um, that's how the Solana Art. Very simple lang yung Solana Art. But Solana Art allows you to buy and sell. So yan lang yung marketplace. Very easy lang yan. Okay, so what is Serum? What is it? Why should I use it? How should I use it? Okay. Matagal tong skwentuhan niya. 12 minutes. I-shortcut natin. So Serum is a DEX. Diba? This is the DEX of FTX. Ito si Sam. Uh, Sam Altman Fried is the, ano, is the, Sam Bankman Fried is the CEO. Siya yung parang Binance ng, uh, ng neto. Siya yung Changpeng Zhao ng Binance. Siya yung ganun. CZ siya niyan. So si FTX, meron silang DEX serum. So ito yung mga yun. 
shortcut na natin na so ito uh, ito yung itsura ng serum so maraming um, so sa Solana no sa loob uh, nagturo siya ng wallet niya Bonfida Solet I I thought you Phantom kasi mas maganda yung Phantom wallet the um gawin na lang natin yung mga magaganda actually mas maganda for me yung radium so diretso tayo sa radium Dex kasi to na lahat ng kailangan natin nandito na eh. So, i-coconnect mo lang yung wallet mo dito sa Radium. So, radium.io. Sige, ulitin natin para, mahi, para hindi kayo ma, ano, matakot. Google Radium. Dito kayo sa radium.io. Okay? Para tama. Kasi maraming scammers, mga phishing, di ba? Pag pumasok ka dyan sa radium.com, baka ma-joke time yung pera mo. Radium.io ka. Radium's AMM interacts with Serum Central Limit Order Book, meaning pools have access to all order flow. Mapapansin mo naman guys, lahat ng decentralized apps, .io, hindi siya .com. Because this is the Web 3.0. Okay, so we are launching this app. This is an avenue for the evolution of DeFi. Light speed swaps, next level liquidity, frictionless yield. Let's launch the app. Right now, marami naniniwala dito, $1.5 billion total value locked. So di ba sa Uniswap, marami rin, nasa mga $80 billion locked. Um, Uniswap di ba is the Ethereum. So ito, lumalaban to sa Ethereum. Okay. Um, now, let's go na to the app. Launch the app. If you go to the app, this is what it looks like. Trading, swap, liquidity. So, gusto ko bumili ng DEX. Paano ko gawin? Okay, select a token, Radium. May Solana tayo. So, mag-swap tayo. Pwede half, pwede max. Um, I-half natin. So, I can get, sabi niya, you can get 100 ray. Blah, blah. Okay, swap. <clears throat> so, medyo mga nasa $1,000. Ganyan. Kasi na, na, nasa $900. Kasi radium is nasa $9 ngayon. So connection, transaction has been sent. Confir confirmation is in progress. Check your transaction here. <coughs> Ayun na. Bilis no. Ito na yung Solana, ito na yung radium. Tada. Transaction has been confirmed. Thank you. Now, pag may Solana ka at may radium ka, paano natin magagawan ng pera to? Pwede tayo mag-add liquidity, di ba? LP token. So, bigay natin yung radium. Bigay natin yung Solana. And then, supply. Approve. Confirmation is in progress. Makakakuha tayo dapat ng LP. If you stake your LP tokens in a farm, unstake them to seed them here. Ano to? Insufficient rebalance. Ay, sorry. Kulang pala ako na bakit? Dapat mawala. Pag nag-add pag nag liquidity ka, dapat maubos yung ray and soul mo. Tapos makakakuha ka ng ito. Nakita man yan, nandiyan na yun. This is the radium LP token. Yan ang ilalagay ko sa farm. Ang liquidity provider. So pupunta na ako sa farm. Siyempre, dahil ang akin is Ray and Sol, pupunta ko dito sa Ray and Sol. Diba? Nakasulat, total APR, 38%, stake my LP. Max, lahat na yan, confirm. So if you're familiar sa mga pool farms, diba? every time may mag-trade as a liquidity provider, you earn 0.17%. So yun yun, kaya liquidity provider. Transaction has been confirmed. O, oh, na-stake na daw. Okay. So, na-stake ko na siya. Um, yung iba, so, yan, all radium farms. So, yun, may farm. Staking. Yung staking is kapag wala kang mga soul, gusto mo lang yung ray, ito yung parang auto cake stake. Uh, auto stake cake. Yung mga familiar sa pancake swap, pwede rin to, APR 27.9%. So, yan, yung staking. Ito yung farms. So, yun na, nagawa ko na siya, di ba? So, andun na yan. Um, pending reward, ipapaharvest na lang yan, yan sa akin. Tingnan natin kung wala na yung ano. Dapat wala na. O yun, tama. Wala na. Zero, zero, zero. So, notice na kapag nag-stake ka, magsi zero, zero, zero na yan, di ba? Kasi stinake ko na yung Solana ko and Radium for liquidity provider. 
Tapos nandiyan na yan. So farm, hintayin ko na lang mag-harvest anytime I want. Yun. Top pools. Sabi nila, if you want to earn, magbibigay ka ng liquidity. Top pools, Solana and Dollar uh, stable nila is USDC. Kasi USDC is the stable coin of the Ethereum. Uh, sumikat yan. Uh, Raysol, yon top pool din, $177 million. So yon natuto na kayo how to stake. Okay? Next, turuan na. So kahit na wag na yung serum, radio mas gusto ko. Last but not the least, guys, tuturuan ko kayo ng DeFi Lama. Last na to, guys. So kinig-kinig na lang para sa mga napubor na dito. DeFi Lama is... Um, ito si DeFi Lama. DeFiLama.com, makikita mo dito overview, protocols, chains, dexes, assets. This is a DeFi dashboard for you to see how is the DeFi movement growing. Magkano yung total value locked of the overall movement? So far, $176 billion is locked in DeFi, earning a certain annual percentage rate in their respective APRs. Ano yung may pinakamalaking total value lock na kasulat nyan dito? Curve has 13.6 billion. The, cha the chain is Ethereum, Matic, and these three. Which yun? Okay? Ang alam ko Ethereum and Matic, which is Polygon. Pag gusto mo cheap fees, yes. Kasi ang mahal talaga ng Ethereum eh, $100 gas fees pa lang. Ave is also an Ethereum Matic protocol. Uh, yun, total value lock, $12.5 billion. That's the bank. Marami yan. MakerDAO, InstaDAP, Compound. So yun, nakikita mo, yan yung mga total value lock. Number nine, pumapasok si Binance. So the top eight, panay Ethereum. Number nine, si PancakeSwap, $5 billion na. So si Radium, nasa $1 billion pa lang. So if we believe na, uy, malakas tong Radium, number 29 ngayon, $1.4 billion, aangat to, it's worth it to stake habang mura pa si Radium. Actually, this is the chart of Radium. Uh, umangat na siya. Tingnan natin yung chart. 229 na yan. Actually, pakita natin yung chart ng Radium. Dito sa trading. So may DEX ka, Decentralized Exchange. Um, tingnan natin yung Ray USDT. Tingnan natin yung daily. So you'll notice this is July, $2.50. Naging $16. Nowadays, this September, nagkonting fluctuate pullback. Ngayon, $9. It could go to $7. Pero if you believe that Solana is gonna be profitable in the... Uh, hindi profitable eh. Adopted ang important. Kasi may profit, yes. Kasi di ba may gumagamit eh. They earn fees naman eh. Pero um, it's really the user adoption. User adoption and total value lock. So, ganyan. Uh, bullish ako sa Solana. So, yeah. Bullish din tayo sa Radium. Alright. Uh, so, dips would be bought. Uh, wala akong pake sa short term. Ang usapan dito is yung $1,000, $2,000 ko is stake ko yan for an entire year. Kahit na sabi natin, naging $5 na lang yan. Because I believe in the backing of the games. I believe in the products that they have. So of course, in Radium, they also have the Accelerator. In the Accelerator, this is a launch pod similar lang sa Binance. Diba? Si Binance may mga ICO, IDOs or Initial Decentralized Offerings. It is a project to raise capital and for the community to participate in Solana project launches. So Solana will pay, give the money and launch it through these great protocols with Radium Accelerator. Full details here. So here, kaya kapag nagpupool ka, if you notice, pag nagpupool ka dyan, you can earn. So kung ano-anong, um, ito sa grape protocol, may grape pool, may atlas pool. Ito star atlas. Hindi ko pa nakikita yung auri. Nasaan yung auri? Wala pa yung auri eh. So, um, tama ba? Wala pang auri. Hindi ko siya nakita eh. Nasaan yung auri? Um, parang wala pang auri eh. So, yun. Bibilihin mo siya sa swap. Check ko lang ah. Alam ko kasi wala pang auri eh. Baka mali ako. Wala. Wala pang auri. Wala pang aurori. So, but yun yung mangyayari, di ba? 
mangyayari dyan, i-unstake ko lang yung soul ko and radium, tapos ipupull ko yon at saka bibili rin ako ng auri pagdating ng araw na yon di ba? So, sa top pools, yan, nakita mo yan, ito, Atlas. Nag-pull siya ng Star Atlas and Ray para kumita siya ng Atlas. Pero 3% lang yung APR. So yun, titingnan mo rin, one year, kung magkano yung kinikita mo for providing liquidity. Ito, drop zone. So may mga ganito din. This is an initiative to promote the growth of Solanas while supporting the project team with the infrastructure needed to launch their new collection. So there's a lottery pool opening on September 29, 14 UTC. Pool will close in five minutes. Open period of the pool is just five minutes. Full details here. So yan, Mag magkakaroon ng NFT drops tonight si Cyber Samurai and Playground. So pwede natin basahin. So sa NFT drops, ito yung way para makakuha ka ng NFT in a very cheap amount. Basahin natin. We are launching uh, September 29. Um, anong oras daw yun? 14 UTC is mag, anong oras yun sa Philippines? 10 p.m. tonight. Okay? 10 p.m. tonight. Um, asa na yun? Ano yung binabasa ko? Okay. So, Larmy is a limited battalion of 2D, 3D NFT soldiers on the blockchain. Um, this article will cover the drop NFT. When the drop zone pool opens, deposit your soul to enter the ticket. So, basta may soul ka lang daw. Lottery. So, chamba-chambahan lang to. Each winning ticket can claim a Dropbox token which will represent an NFT. Non-winning tickets can claim back sol. So wala kang talo. Pasok mo yung 100 sol, bibigyan ka niya ng lottery ticket. Tapos kung nakachamba ka na nabigyan ng, ng drops, collect mo lang na mapupunta yun sa ano, Dropbox token. And you can redeem it to mint one original NFT from the project collection at random. So makakamint ka. So usually mga minting 1 sol. Ito fixed price 2 sol. So pwede na rin for just 240 280 dollars ganun, ganun. <clears throat> So kung uh, kung malakas tong Solar Me na yon na NFTs, magkakaroon ng 9999 Solar Me NFTs. Um there will be total drop boxes of 9999 2 sol. The model will be lottery. Maximum that you can uh, put is just three tickets. So maximum six sol lang. So six times 150, 900 lang. $900. Ma hindi mawawala yung $900 mo kasi nasa, nasa lottery lang. Allocation, baka nga gawin ko ito mamaya. Sige, gawin ko na lang ito mamaya. Kasi lottery naman yan eh. Open period, five minutes. Tapos redeem it on the Solarmy website. So yun, pag nanalo ka, redeem mo lang. Tapos. Hindi ko inaral yung project na to Pero for me... Usually, mga NFT drops, free money siya. So, okay lang. Kung, kung ayaw ko yung game, i-flip-flip ko na lang sa uh, Solana Art. Pag gusto ko siya talaga, i-stay ko lang siya sa NFT Phantom Wallet ko. Yun. So, as I said, uh, ang, ang, reason, uh, ang reason why I'm showing to you the DeFi Lama is nakikita mo lahat ng projects na importante in the blockchain na important for you. Kung Ethereum, ano yung important dApps dyan? So nakikita mo na, oh, total value lock, Curve, MakerDAO, Aave, Solana, anong mga importante? Saber is just like a DEX, mga stable coins din yan. Sunny, Radium, Serum, Sol Farm. So yan yung mga yield farms na yan. Total value lock, matataas. So syempre, just because hindi mo nakita dyan yung Aurori, hindi ibig sabihin na hindi siya malakas. It's just that kasi Aurori is not... Wala kang nilalock kasi na pera doon sa Aurori, di ba? Yun. Polygon, you can see then kung ano yung mga malalakas sa Polygon. Si Sushi Swap, Define Net Network. Actually, nag-dino swap ako, nag-farm ako, okay naman. Kumita rin ako dyan sa, sa kaka-yield farm ko dyan. So yun, may kita mo, based on the amount. Importante yung total value locked. Kung, kung mas mataas yung value lock, syempre, mas safe kayo. Tapos yan, the reason why I showed the DeFi Lama is just so you know, uy, Binance, kamusta naman? Oh, kunwari nag-autocake ka ng pancake swap. Oh, okay naman, 5 billion pancake swap. Ayun, makita mo yung mga pinakamatataas na mga farms value locked in Binance. Yun, Terra, Avalanche, Phantom, yun. So that ends my presentation. If there's no questions, guys, mukhang wala namang nagtanong sa akin. I-end natin with a gameplay of Aurori.
So, punta tayo. As I said, kailangan kayo aware sa lahat ng bagay-bagay. If this is your first time watching this channel, you can add me, by the way. I forgot. This is my Twitter, at FacelessTrader. Um, uh, you can see any tweets I have, if you wish. And then you can also um, subscribe and like the channel. And then we'll talk about stocks, global markets, Philippine stock markets, um, play-to-earn games, some staking, cryptocurrencies, di ba? Para lang tumulong sa mga taong gusto talaga ang matuto. Um, so puntahan natin si Aurori, yung Aurori na gameplay. Nakita ko na siya eh, sa YouTube nila. Pero pwede mo rin i-follow sila sa Twitter. Aurori. The Aurori Project. is a PVE, PVP gaming project using Powered by Solana. You can follow their Discord, their light paper, the collection, aurori.io. And here you go for the Twitter version of our multiplayer video. Punta tayo sa kanilang... Ito yung aurori.io. So, tingnan na rin natin yung game play. Ay! Sorry, sorry, sorry. Close ko na yung ibang gam mga andami kong tabs. So, home, NFTs, game, news, play, NFTs, about the game. Explore, explore tayo, guys. Play to earn to. We will feature more and more about this Aurori game. I hope I got you stoked. Um... I am looking forward to this game. I want to show to you the... Wala. Not that. Aurori. Multiplayer mechanics. So two days ago, they released this. Ito yung gameplay. Two minutes. Watch this. Nag-gets niyo yung game. So, turn-based game siya. Tapos, um, so may scratching. You have to think twice on your attacks. Kasi kala mo talo na yung do. Pero hinipe attack niya sa dulo. Panalo tuloy yung 
panalo tuloy si Sam. So, 3 versus 3. Tapos yun, may mga, may mga moves, di ba? So, yun. It's an interesting game. I think um, maganda siyang intindihin. I hope that this beginner tutorial uh, helped you. And of course, you can follow many important channels. Go straight to Aurori Project if you ever wanted. Uh, footage of the multiplayer battle system. Follow them or Twitter on Twitter and go to their Discord. That's it. Thank you very much and hope to see you again this Friday for another Global Market Update.